let us learn about the fundamental counting principle. Fundamental counting principle helps us to know the sample space or the total possibilities of a certain condition. In a city basketball league, there must be a minimum of 14 players on a team's roster. One 14 player team has three centers, four power forwards, two small forwards, three shouting, shooting guards, and the rest of the players are point guards. How many different five player teams are possible in one player if one player is selected from each position? Now you need to understand here they have told it's 14 player team. So don't go to multiply 14. We need to know how many different type, uh, you know, different category players are possible, the total possible outcome. Now here this, no, don't multiply. There are total 14. So there are three centers, four power forwards, two small forwards, three shooting guards, and the rest of the players are point guards. Now here they have not told all the numbers. So this is out of 14. We know 3 minus 4 minus 2 minus 3. So we have 7, 10, 12. 14 minus 12 would be 2. So there are two people remaining, right? Rest of the players, they are the point guards. So you have to just multiply all, the, all these numbers. And this 2 is found out by subtracting the given numbers from the total number of players. That's 14. So this is how we do it. And just by multiplying that, you will get the answer. Angelica is comparing vacation prices in Boulder, Colorado. This is the same place. Boulder is in Colorado itself. And Sarasota in Florida. In Boulder, she can choose a one-week or two-week stay in a one- or two-bedroom suite. In Sarasota, she can choose a one-, two-, three-week stay or two- or three-bedroom suite. So on the beach or not, even there's option of beach or not. So how many outcomes are there in Boulder? Let's do Boulder first. Boulder is having two week choices for the week stay and two bedrooms. It's just four. That's it. What about Sarosata? Here there is three week options. There is two bedroom options and you can either choose a beach or not. So there is there are two options over there as well. Three times two times two. So this is four. What about this? Six times two is two all. So the total possible uh, outcomes for the booking the vacation is total 16. 12 plus 4 is 16. So that would be the method to solve this. Boulder do it separately. Sarasota also do it separately. That's 12. And then add them up. You will get the total possible outcomes. Morris packs suits, shirts and ties that can be mixed and matched. Uses packing list to draw a tree diagram to represent the sample space for possible suit combination using one article from each category. Now let's look at this. The suits, number of suits. Now this is not to be added. It's grey, black and khaki. Here shirts, white and light blue, ties, striped or optional. That means you can have a tie or no tie. There are two over here, white and light blue, uh, red, blue, grey, black and khaki. So we have to put the colors first, uh, the suits first, G, B and K. Then we have two options each ways that is wb wb and wb over here there is again two options tie no tie two options tie no tie tie no tie so it's again no tie again we have tie no tie and lastly tie and no tie now this is a rough tree diagram over here if you see gwt is one possible outcome then there is gwnt G W G B T G B N T. So these are all the possibilities. Okay. So they have asked you to find all the possible outcomes. So you can see uh, with the suit there is three, shirt there is again two for each category, and then tie also there's two categories for each. And then you write up write out all the possible outcomes. Here we have the thala wears a school uniform that consists of a skirt or pants. A white shirt, a blue jacket or sweater, white socks and black shoes. She has three pairs of pants, three skirts, six white shirts, two jackets, two sweaters, six pairs of white socks and three pairs of black shoes. Now here if you look carefully, they have told skirt or pant, then white shirt, jacket or sweater. This is important because we cannot multiply the number of skirts 
and pants like this. No, this would be wrong because it's or clearly mentioned or. So you need to add them up. So basically, or is always uh, multiple adding and is multiplication, right? So what you can do over here is skirts or pants, take them as one category. Pants is three, skirts is also three. Multiply it with number of shirts. Then multiply it with jackets or sweaters. So it is two plus two. Then multiply it with white socks and, and black socks, they have told. So multiply it with three. So these are all uh, the possibilities. Here they have not told white socks or black socks. They have told and, so you need to multiply. See over here, only the skirt and the sweater and jacket. Skirt and pants, sweater and jackets are to be added. Everything else, it will be 3 plus 3 is 6 times 6 times 4 times 6 times 3. That is the possibility. Here it's the same thing. They have given the details about a sandwich shop. And what you need to do is... Find all the total possibilities, choices they can have from bread, meat and cheeses. It will be 3, 4 and uh, 5 over here. So that will be the answer. 3 times 4 times 5. Here we have another interesting problem. List 6 different expressions that could be used to evaluate the area of the composite figure. Now here you need to find the area. Area can be found out by this adding up all these different polygons, right? This is a rectangle over here, another rectangle like that. You can find it by adding up all the polygons, isn't it? So you need to find different ways, six different ways. So one would be like this. You can do many, I'll just show you how. You can consider this as a polygon, this separately, that's one possibility. Or you can consider that one like this. Uh, you can chop this up. Or uh, you can make this, you know, like this. Various ways. It's just, uh, see, this is one possibility over here. There's another, another. See, all these are different possibilities. I'm not exactly sure how this will be asked in the MCQ. But anyways, these are the possibilities to know. And these are the different ways. You can just add them up by multiplying the uh, polygons. Finding the area of each polygon and summing them up. That would be the area of this figure. Here we have another problem about license plates. One state requires license plates to consist of three letters followed by three numbers. The letter O and the number zero may not be used. But any other combination of letters or numbers is allowed. How many different license plates can be created? Okay. Now how many letters are they? They want three letters and three numbers. So total letters in English language is 26. But they cannot use O. So A to Z, but O is excluded. So minus 1, it's 25 here. Same thing with numbers, 0 to 9. There are 10 numbers. But here we have to exclude 0. So it will be 10 numbers in total. 10 minus 1 will be 9. Why it's 10 numbers? Because 0 is also included. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? It will be 10 minus 1. There are 3 letters. So it will be 25 times 25 times again 25. 3 times 25. And what about the numbers? It's 9. So multiply. These are all the possibilities for letters. And then there is possibility 9 times 9 times 9 for the letters. So if you multiply that, you'll get the possible answers. So there can be 11 point, nearly 11.4 million different license plates possible from this combination. Jack has been offered a number of internships that could occur in three different months, in three different departments, and for three different companies. Jack is only available to complete his internship in July. How many different outcomes are there for his internship? So now here, the thing is three different months, it is possible, but he is only there for one month. So this will not be used. Three won't be used. It's one multiplied by four times three. So we have to just multiply all the possibilities. One times four times three or one times three. See, it's July only. That's therefore month becomes only one. Departments are three. Sorry, the companies are three, departments are four. The answer is two. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.